Hello, 8th grade. I hope everyone's doing okay. I hope everyone is happy, healthy, and safe. A big shout out to Itzel. Big shout out to Alondra. Uh, continue, guys. Try your best to continue to turn in your assignments. So where we left off last time, we were talking about, well, I told Brandon, I suggested he continue focusing on the bubble letters. I said, Itzel, it's okay to start with your wild style. The same with uh, Londra. So I believe I left off on the K for Alondra and the I for Itzel. So I just want to reassure you guys that you can do this. So very quickly, let me focus on the I and the K for Alondra and for Itzel. So I'm going to go with, remember what I said, um, you can go with an eye, not so structured, a little angled slash playful. Again, remember, within um, art, uh, an artist can uh, elicit or make the viewer think of uh, either drama, dramatic seriousness, or playfulness, depending on what the artist's intention is. And when I say playfulness, I, I believe I referenced um, Lichtenstein's uh, pop art, or more to the point, his pow, um, bam, pop things like that and they're usually at an angle which um in that which in his case would um imply a playful nature so i'm going to go with the i for it's and the k for alondra now as i said earlier guys now begin to break these letters up segments so into pieces okay so let's go into p let's break these up let's segment these okay and remember sketch that means i'm not applying a lot of pressure to my pencil because if I make a mistake, I can easily erase, okay, guys? So as I said, not a lot of pressure. And let me erase this line here. So going over here. And, and I'm not going to get too cluttered with this one. Because th for this one, I want to focus on a three-dimensional aspect, okay? So... And again, what am I doing, Itzel? What am I doing, Alondra? I'm segmenting these letters and I'm thinking geometric. Geometric. Remember, that means these man-made shapes and forms. And by that, I mean there are things in this world, in Mother Nature, that appear to be spherical, but they're not perfectly spherical. Some things appear to be uh, shaped like octagons, but they're not perfectly formed octagonal prisms, okay? So in short, geometric, of course, means shapes, the likes of... Uh, rectangles, squares, ovals, circles, uh, the list goes on. And again, uh, organic means curved. So we're thinking geometric. We're thinking shapes, as I said, the likes of squares, rectangles, ovals, uh, octagons, things of that nature. Okay. Now, let me go back over. Let me start this K rather. And as you can see, um, it still looks like a K. I'm sorry. It looks like the letter I, which is fine because I'm just starting off more to the point. I'm just breaking these letters up and then I'm trying to get an idea of what to do and how to go about doing it. And this isn't something I put together. It's not, um, I didn't um, draw this in advance, I should say. And again, I want you to understand that what we're doing here is just basically segmenting these letters and creating a geometric aspect or more to the point using geometric shapes or thinking geometric rather. Think geometric guys, think geometric, okay? So let me go over to this key. On this part of the camera. Now, so what we have is something that does resemble an I and it does resemble a K. It does resemble a K. So now let's try our best to disguise, to not make it so legible, so uh, easily read. Okay, guys? So what am I going to do? Well, let's do this. Let's curve this part because I want to end up making it look like there's an arrow over here guys and don't forget what that arrow means that arrow is important don't forget when it comes to stylized letters and characters that arrow the arrow symbolizes taking art in a new direction and I value this uh, movement this um, this type of art because again this is the only type of art to my knowledge that was pioneered by kids Yep, black and brown kids from New York. This style originated in New York, okay? So we have to pay your respects. And again, it's, it's, a, it's something every person that um, attempts this movement or type of art, rather this style of work or this movement, 
Everyone should know the origin. You have to pay respects to where this came from. You have to pay respect to those that came before you. And in this case, it's those black and brown kids from New York, those uh, Puerto Ricanos and those African-American kids that made the city their canvas. And yes, in some instances or in many instances, they were breaking the law. But again, um, it's something that they did because they had no art program or very few art programs in their schools. So they still found the need to create and somehow they were still able to create. Uh, using the city as their canvas. So, I'm going to carry this guy over in this direction. And I'll see where I'm at. Okay? I'll take inventory. I'll say to myself, well, do I like it? Do I not like it? And I'll take it from there. So, let me come out over to the cave. Now, you're doing okay, Itzel. You were uh, turning in work regularly but i haven't i didn't see you. you didn't turn any work for me this week and i hope you're okay and i continue to develop your style you're doing a great job i mean it when i say that alondra you as well keep up the good work and you guys make me proud you you guys really do make me proud guys i say to myself gosh i didn't think they would approve of this movement this style of work and but yet you guys did and you guys are doing a great job and i mean it when i say that guys so i'm just gonna loop this over guys I want to create like a ribbon effect. Okay. So again, what's the name of the game, guys? Geometric and disguise. Okay? You want to disguise your letters. You want to disguise your letters. Okay. And I said I wasn't going to cluster it or clutter it. I don't want it too cluttered, okay? But... This area within here looks a little bare, okay? A little bare and just, uh, there's not much there. There's not much happening over here. So what I can do is continue almost with this ribbon-like thing or how this seems to go from one direction to another. So I'll continue with that. Okay. 